Let's take a break from those pesky flycatchers and focus on something that is fun for normal people too. For most people, when they think of the birds of Costa Rica, it's not necessarily the Empedonax flycatchers that come to mind, but instead colorful images of toucans, parrots, motmots, and trogons. So in today's video, we'll have a look at the yellow-bellied Costa Rican trogons, and we'll learn where to find them and how to identify them. While there are a total of nine species of trogons that regularly occur in Costa Rica, there are only three that have a yellow belly. Those are the black-headed trogon, the garter trogon, and the black-throated trogon. These may seem very similar at a first glance, and in fact, when you browse the internet for images, there are a startling number of misidentifications. But if you remember a few simple field marks, you'll be able to tell them apart in no time. Apart from the obvious yellow belly, you want to keep your eye on five things. Number one, the color of the head. Now this may seem obvious, but it's surprisingly easy to ignore or forget when you're new to these birds. The color of the head can give good information and is especially helpful to distinguish female trogons from one another. Number two, the color of the bill. No need to stop at the head feathers. The bill color is usually easy to discern and can give some very valuable information as well. Number three, the eye rings. All of these trogons have very obvious eye rings. That's the technical term for the thin line of differently colored feathers surrounding their eyes. The color and extent of these eye rings are important field marks for trogon identification. Number four, the undertail. The patterns of the bars on the underside of the trogon's tails is usually very pronounced and can help to tell these birds apart. And number five, the wing coverts. In some trogons, it's not only the undertail that is barred. Keep an eye out for any fine barring on the bird's wings. So now that you know what to look for, let's start our trogon ID. We'll start with the largest of the yellow-bellied trogons, the black-headed trogon. It measures around 28 centimeters or 11 inches. This bird is very common in the northern Pacific lowlands and foothills of Costa Rica. In most cases, a look at the bird's head is enough to ID it. It's the only trogon in Costa Rica with a yellow belly, a blue eye ring and a blue-gray bill. It has no barrings on the wings and very large white patches on the undertail. The female looks like a slightly washed out version of the male, with a shiny black replaced by grey. The black-headed trogon likes to sit on branches in forest edge zones and gardens, sometimes on fences or power cables, but usually at rather low levels. This trogon is often heard before it is seen. Its call is a very distinctive series of chucks. The garter trogon is noticeably smaller, coming in at around 23 centimeters or 9 inches. The male is easily identified by its diagnostic yellow eye ring. The barring on its undertail is also much narrower than for the black-headed trogon. Also, the wings are very finely barred. This is more obvious in the females. Females again look more washed and share the male's barring pattern. But their eye ring is elliptical and whitish. Garter trogons occur in lowlands and foothills on both sides of the country, less often in drier areas. Like the black-headed trogon, they also show up in both forests and gardens, but usually sit a little higher up. Its call is a series of equally pitched pews. And finally, the black-throated trogon. It's the same size as the garter trogon and a good 5 cm shorter than the black-headed trogon. Like the black-headed trogon, the male has a bluish eye ring, but its head is green rather than black and the bill is yellow. The female is even easier to identify. It's the only trogon in Costa Rica with a yellow belly and a brownish head. Just like the garter trogon, black-throated trogons occur in wet lowlands and foothills, but unlike their counterparts, they really don't show up in dry regions, say for example the Nicoya Peninsula or northwestern Guanacaste. Now let's have a quick look at the birds next to each other and summarize. The black-headed trogon is larger than the other two. It has a blue eye ring and a bluish-gray bill. It has no bars on the wings and big white patches on the undertail. The female looks essentially the same as the male, but a bit duller in coloration. The garter trogon is the only trogon in Costa Rica with a yellow eye ring. It has fine barring on the wings and narrow bars on the undertail. Its bill is also bluish-gray. The female has an elliptical white eye ring and a gray head. The black-throated trogon has a noticeably green head and a blue eye ring. The yellow bill is the giveaway here. The female is the only trogon in Costa Rica with a yellow belly and a brown head and has an elliptical whitish eye ring. 
I hope this helped alleviate some of the confusion that can arise when doing an image search of Trogons online. And I certainly hope it will help in the field if you ever come to Costa Rica. In part 2 of this video, we'll have a look at the 6 red belly Trogons in Costa Rica. So subscribe if you haven't to make sure that you don't miss it. Until then, happy birding, see you soon. Ciao!